हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कस ऑन दिस सिक्वेंस इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द सिमेट्रिकल सर्क्यूट एज वी हैव सीन इन अर्लियर क्लासेस एंड ऑल वी हैव सीन दैट देर आर मीन्स अबाउट सिक्वेंस वोल्टेज सिक्वेंस करेंट्स ओके एज यू हैव एज यू नो सिक्वेंस करेंट्स एंड सिक्वेंस वोल्टेज आर ऑफ पॉजिटिव सिक्वेंस नेगेटिव सिक्वेंस एंड जीरो सिक्वेंस सिमिलरली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ सिक्वेंस इम्पोर्टेंसेस ओके ऑफ अ सिमेट्रिकल सिस्टम this is the introduction before going to uh, take a derivation of this let's define a positive sequence impedance negative sequence impedance and zero sequence impedance okay let's define as we, as we know the impedance definition in a similar way we are doing we are going to define this one with respect to a sequence wise okay let's see first one the impedance offered by the circuit for the flow of positive sequence current is called as a positive sequence impedance okay similarly the impedance offered by the circuit for the flow of negative sequence is called as negative sequence impedance and then the impedance offered by the circuit for the flow of a zero sequence current is called as zero sequence impedance okay now we got all three definitions let's uh, derive this one to derive uh, uh, sequence impedances for a symmetrical circuit so let's take a, let's consider a circuit which consist of uh, three phase that is a b c okay along with the neutral okay as shown in the figure all right let's define this voltage across uh, first voltage across this that is va first phase voltage across this vb voltage at vc okay it means define va vb and vc let's see how it comes the voltage drop uh, can be calculated as a va is equal to okay va is equal to this to observe in a circuit va is equal to ia into z a complete the circuit circuit so ia into z plus in into zn okay in this circuit right so in that way if you are expressing va is equal to ia into z plus in into zn right in into zn right i n into z n so in this way we can define this i a v a equal to i a into z plus i n into z n let's take this one i a into z express this i n as i a plus i b plus i c because as you know in this i n is equal to i a plus i b plus i c okay so next uh, substitute that one i i n as a i a plus i b plus i c and then expand this one if we expand that ia plus iz see ia iaza okay and then here it comes uh, your um, ia plus ib plus ic so now what we can take is um, iaz plus i expand this equation iaz plus in sorry zn ia plus zn ib plus zn ic so once we expand this equation take uh, terms like you know ia ib ic separately so now first you make this so when you expand this one iaz iaz plus i zn into ia so among this take a ia outside z plus zn you can write similarly you express va in terms of this one ia ib ic along with the z right first one is va equal to z plus zn into ia plus zn uh, zn into ib plus zn into ic when you are calculating va similarly vb can can be calculated by applying the same formula means in a simil si similar formula okay vb is equal to if you simplify again in this way you will get vb is equal to zn ia plus z plus zn ib plus zn into ic okay similarly your vc also can be calculated zn into ia plus zn ib plus z plus zn ic okay so consider means all three equations va vb vc 1 2 3 equations you can say let's write these three equations in a matrix form okay let's write these three in a matrix form that is va vb vc as a as a uh, column matrix and then and then uh, this equations can be written as i a i b i c you can write in terms of i a i b i c so when you write i a i b i c take a uh, v a is equal to z plus z n z n z n those values you can write i hope you know how to write this in equation means matrix form write in a similar way right once you write 
let's express voltages that is uh, VA, VB, VC and IA, IB, IC in terms of sequence components. Okay, that is as you know, VA, VB, VC is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, A square A, 1, A, A square into VA naught, VA1, VA2. What do you mean by VA naught? It is a zero sequence. VA1 is a positive sequence. VA2 is a negative sequence. In a similar way, you have to express IA, IB, IC. That we can express in the same way. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, A square A, 1, A, A square, IA naught, IA1, IA2. Okay, in this way. Right? Let's substitute these two equations in above equation. This That is in this equation. VA, VB, VC is equal to Z matrix into IA, IB, IC. Okay? So once you substitute V A V B V C is nothing but your 1 1 1 1 A square A 1 A A square V A naught V A 1 V A 2. Alright. Now we need to express V A naught V A 1 V A 2 is equal to what? Okay. And then we have to get what is the impedance equation. Okay. In, in the form of sequence. Sequence components. Right. So what we can do is let's send this one VA0, VA1, VA2 as it is. Send this send this uh, matrix this side. Okay. Your uh, right hand side. When you send that, it comes 1, 1, 1, 1, A square, A, 1, A, A squares inverse matrix. Okay. And remaining terms as it is. Right. As you know, we have already done this one previously. For, to find the matrix inverse for this particular matrix, for this particular matrix, inverse will be 1, 1 by 3, I, 1, 1, 1, 1, A, A square, 1, A square, A. Okay, just substitute in the place of 1, 1, this matrix inverse, just substitute in the place of this 1 by 3 of this matrix. Okay, let's see. Therefore, VA0, VA1, VA2 will be equal to uh, 1 by 3, just uh, this matrix inverse we have substituting here. And then next uh, further terms are as it is. Okay. On simplifying these equations. Okay. Entire the multiplication of this 1, 1, 1, 1, A, A square, 1, A square, A matrix into Z plus Zn, 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 sorry, Z plus Zn, Zn and this matrix along with 1, 1, 1, 1, A square, A, 1, A, A square. These three matrix, if you simplify, multiplication, sorry, if you multiply all three multiplications. Uh, matrices you get z plus 3 z n 0 0 first row and second row is 0 z 0 and third row is 0 0 z okay so this how to get this one i have i, I have solved already and i'm going to upload it as a pdf along with this video okay so when, when you solve this you get VA0, VA1, VA2 that is negative sequence voltage, positive sequence voltage and a negative sequence voltage will be equal to this form. Uh, this matrix into IA0, IA1, IA2. If you simplify that means from that equation, from this uh, last equation, okay, last uh, uh, equation we can write that VA0 equal to Z plus 3ZN into IA0, VA1 equal to V1 equal to Z into IA1, V2 equal to Z into IA2. Okay, so therefore symmetrical sorry sequence impedances are defined as Z0 will be defined as V0 divided by I0. Okay, voltage divided by current of that sequence itself. That is nothing but your Z plus 3ZN as from this above equation. Okay, that is nothing but your zero sequence impedance and uh, positive sequence impedances VA from this second equation we can write. Z is equal to VA1 divided by IA1. Okay, VA1 divided by IA1, which is equal to Z, what you have got. Right? This is your positive sequence impedance. Similarly, Z um, Z2, that is the negative sequence impedance, will be nothing but your VA2 divided by IA2. Okay. So VA2 divided by IA2, which is equal to Z. This is your negative sequence impedance. Right? So from this above equations what we can can conclude is that for a symmetrical static circuit like you know of transformers or or fully transposed transmission lines remember this okay we can define means we can conclude give a conclusion for two points first one is the positive sequence impedance is the same as that of negative sequence 
impedance and the second one is zero sequence impedance is much larger than the positive or negative sequence impedance okay in the absence of neutral zn will be equal to infinity okay therefore z naught is also equal to zero I'm sorry infinity z naught is equal to infinity therefore what we can define is i a naught that is the negative sequence current will be equal to v a naught divided by z naught right v a naught divided by z naught is infinity if you substitute that we get a zero that's what earlier numericals as well as in earlier derivations we have come across this right i a naught equal to zero right as we have seen it note the note one point that in this case means in the in the symmetrical components or a symmetrical impedance of a symmetrical circuit for uh, this particular circuit even if the elements are mutually coupled okay if the uh, elements are mutually coupled it can be proved that the sequence impedances are uncoupled provided the circuit is symmetrical okay even though if you have a <coughs> mutual couple coupling then also we can define the same thing right so uh, only one thing is that circuit should be of a symmetrical one right thank you